Prepare yourself, as the upcoming months will mark a pivotal juncture, a period wherein we edge closer to the anticipated return of Jesus. It is imperative that we awaken and heed the signs surrounding us, for they serve as unequivocal affirmations of the ancient truths penned in the Bible. God in His wisdom forewarns of four significant occurrences set to unfold in the world in the impending months. Before we delve into these revelations together, I implore you to subscribe to the channel now, simply by clicking the subscribe button located just below this video. It's a cost-free gesture that fuels our commitment to produce more enlightening content to aid a wider audience. Feel free to share your insights in the comments section regarding any biblical signs you've already discerned heralding the return of Jesus. Let's commence with the initial prophecy global unity, as depicted in Revelation 13. The scripture portrays a vision of a beast emerging from the sea adorned with ten horns and seven heads, each crowned with blasphemous appellations. This beast wields the authority to wage war against the sanctified and triumph over them, exercising dominion over every tribe, tongue, and nation. Perhaps you've encountered discussions on the concept of the New World Order. While some may perceive it as a purely theological abstraction or a remote possibility, the truth veers closer to reality. The New World Order permeates various spheres, encompassing law, commerce, economics, technology, activism, and philosophy. It envisages a novel paradigm of global governance under a singular leadership, buoyed by a universal constitution. This impending governmental structure is slated to gain traction in the ensuing months. Numerous world leaders espouse the notion of viewing the world as an errant progeny in dire need of authoritative guidance. Hence, effective stewardship is deemed indispensable to oversee all facets of existence. Recent developments bear testament to this, with nations forging unprecedented alliances on both political and economic fronts. These alliances, teetering on the brink of consolidating into a unified global authority, epitomize the realization of this prophecy. A pertinent exemplar lies in the burgeoning cohesion within the BRICS coalition, comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These nations are synergizing efforts to foster growth, their interrelations bolstered by incumbent administrations. The impending months hold potential significance for many, with certain factions already advocating for the establishment of a shared currency to streamline trade among themselves. This serves as but one instance of how alliances are smoothing the path for the Revelation X prophecy, wherein a figure will emerge to exert dominion over all nations, this figure being the Antichrist. When you observe countries forging alliances for growth, whether on television or online, remember that this is not mere happenstance, but rather the realization of biblical foretellings. God desires to shield you from deception, hence every forthcoming occurrence will be intricately interwoven. No event stands alone, each war, alliance, and dispute forms a fragment of the divine prophetic blueprint. While current and future developments may astonish you, Rest assured that all unfolds according to the plan laid out by God. Jesus addressed this during his earthly tenure, urging scrutiny of world events in light of biblical predictions. Additionally, heed the second prophecy, which delves into technological advancements. Let us explore another passage from Revelation 13, offering profound insights into this realm. It prophesies a scenario where all individuals, irrespective of stature or status, are compelled to bear a mark on their right hands or foreheads, a prerequisite for commercial transactions, a mark bearing the name or numerical representation of the beast. Technology's exponential growth is evident, particularly in the continual emergence of artificial intelligence, a trend poised to intensify in the ensuing months with a plethora of innovations poised to astound. Consider how concepts deemed inconceivable half a century ago have seamlessly integrated into our daily existence, underscored by the relentless and astonishing pace of evolution. 
This evolution serves as a testament to the fulfillment of biblical prophecies concerning the end times and the awaited return of Jesus amidst the multitude of technological marvels currently in the developmental pipeline. Among the most sophisticated systems is one that monitors our every action. An illustration of this is provided by applications that link your phone to your vehicle. They can log all your journeys over time. These applications possess the ability to track every location you've visited, every gas station, every diner by the roadside where you've made a pit stop, the stores you've frequented, the duration of your stay, and the tolls you've paid. Doesn't that evoke a sense of apprehension? Similarly, our contemporary financial transactions operate within a technologically driven economic framework that enables us to settle bills and conduct purchases without handling physical currency, relying solely on credit cards or applications. Even retail outlets and other establishments find themselves grappling with this transition as cash is increasingly becoming a rarity. While it may appear trivial, this underscores the existence of a pre-existing infrastructure of authority, governance, and surveillance, primed for a global leader to assume control over the world's financial affairs, in accordance with the Apostle John's depiction of the mark of the beast, wherein only authorized individuals will possess the capacity to engage in commercial transactions. As we've previously discussed in the upcoming months, circumstances are anticipated to deteriorate potentially marked by the introduction of digital currencies by governments, promising advantages to those who opt for their utilization over physical currency under the guise of enhanced security and transaction traceability. This transition to digital currency transcends mere considerations of efficiency or security. It symbolizes a broader global shift towards universal integration, wherein a unified digital currency could facilitate this leader's dominion over global commerce. As this transformation unfolds, the pieces of the puzzle pertaining to end-time prophecies gradually align, enabling a more expeditious and intuitive comprehension of these signs. We find ourselves amidst challenging times where prophecies are materializing, yet many remain oblivious to the unfolding events across the globe. The emergence of the Antichrist could manifest through advancements in artificial intelligence. Presently, these technologies assist us in numerous daily activities appearing benign. However, in the impending months, researchers at the Future of Humanity Institute at the University of Oxford intend to engineer artificial superintelligences with the capacity to assert global dominance and initiate conflicts. These scholars caution that such intelligences might progress autonomously, refining themselves beyond human oversight. For such a calamity to materialize, this superintelligence would necessitate development by an individual harboring ambitions of world domination at any expense, essentially embodying the Antichrist. Though this may appear sensationalistic, it underscores a grave concern. Satan's cunning could expedite the scientific community's pursuit of these technologies sooner than anticipated, emphasizing the imperative not to underestimate its potential influence. While the adversary acts within God's permission, the Bible admonishes us that the world is under the sway of evil, with the devil reigning as its prince. Another prophetic theme we must address is apostasy, or the forsaking of faith. In his second epistle to the Thessalonian church, the Apostle Paul issued a poignant prophetic admonition, cautioning against deception regarding the imminent return of Jesus Christ. He implored believers not to be swayed by purported prophecies or teachings claiming that the day of the Lord had arrived. Instead, he forewarned of a rebellion preceding the unveiling of the man of lawlessness, destined for destruction. This constitutes one of the most profound admonitions concerning the end times, highlighting the peril of straying from the path of faith. The Bible foretells a widespread departure from God's precepts, signaling a pivotal moment in eschatological prophecy. Currently, there is a growing phenomenon of individuals who profess Christianity and claim to have committed their lives to Jesus, yet are forsaking Him as if they never knew Him. This trend is expected to exacerbate in the future.
Numerous Christians who previously ardently worshipped and served in church or engaged in missions have now forsaken their faith in pursuit of worldly pleasures. Some have succumbed to vices, while others have embraced promiscuity. Additionally, we have witnessed a disturbing trend of churches becoming increasingly lenient, adopting practices that deviate from their original doctrines, resulting in many believers deserting the congregations. There is a troubling infiltration of the church by individuals professing Christianity, but failing to adhere to biblical principles. This assertion is highly contradictory. It's akin to claiming vegetarianism while indulging in daily barbecue feasts. People are displaying diminished interest in sacred matters, instead embracing sin and a lack of holiness, including pastors and religious leaders. The fervor once felt for the Lord has waned, and the church has gravitated closer to worldly values, blurring the line between the world and the church. All of these developments pave the way for the Antichrist, who will masquerade as a savior, promising peace and security to all. The fourth prophecy pertains to the erosion of human values. The Apostle Paul, in another epistle, prophesied about the moral decay in the last days. But mark this, he warned, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will exhibit a plethora of negative traits, such as self-centeredness, greed, arrogance, disrespect, ingratitude, unholiness, lack of love, and unforgiveness. They will prioritize pleasure over devotion to God, feigning piety while denying its power. Love between individuals is rapidly waning, indicative of not only a departure from faith in Jesus Christ, but also a broader societal shift in behavior as we approach the end times. Moral decay is worsening, accompanied by changes in social values. Instances of betrayal and disloyalty are on the rise, evident in escalating conflicts within families, often escalating to violence. Moreover, there is a noticeable decline in the integrity of numerous leaders who regrettably appear to disregard the value of human life. Instead, these leaders prioritize personal accumulation of wealth and power over serving the communities they ought to safeguard and empower. This trend unveils a growing indifference towards the ethical and moral foundations crucial for a just and harmonious society. Selfishness is increasingly conspicuous in people's daily conduct, with many solely preoccupied with fulfilling their own needs and desires, irrespective of the repercussions on others. This individualistic mindset detrimentally impacts various facets of social life, including familial and marital relationships. Within many marriages, for instance, genuine companionship is lacking as each party prioritizes their own interests, neglecting the significance of shared support and growth. Even within the spiritual and religious sphere where altruism and dedication are expected, a troubling trend emerges. Some religious leaders appear more concerned with self-promotion than with disseminating the messages and values they should uphold. This distortion of their roles undermines their intended purpose of guiding and inspiring their congregations through faith. These behaviors underscore a moral crisis necessitating attention, emphasizing the imperative of upholding values such as integrity, mutual respect, and solidarity to mend the social fabric and restore trust in institutions. Hence, in the forthcoming months, it is imperative that we invest time and effort in fortifying our relationship with God. Often we risk allowing our own desires and aspirations to encroach upon the space in our lives reserved for the Lord. When we yield to such tendencies, we stray from the divine path laid out for us. Therefore, it is crucial to maintain humility and consistently seek divine guidance, aligning our lives with the values and principles that draw us closer to God. Moreover, it is imperative to maintain honesty with those close to us, such as our spouse, family, and fellow believers in Christ. Reflecting on the sins we may conceal from these individuals constitutes a vital step towards genuine spiritual growth. Concealing our faults and shortcomings might appear convenient momentarily, but this lack of transparency can corrode our relationships and spiritual well-being. Hence, 
It is crucial to relinquish these sins promptly, seeking forgiveness and reconciliation. Living a double life carries grave repercussions. Sin is deceptive, enticing us with the illusion of liberation while ensnaring us in invisible shackles of guilt and anguish. Challenges and temptations only intensify, necessitating constant vigilance and commitment to a lifestyle that honors God and reflects His truth. By shunning temptations that veer us off the path of righteousness, we uphold our spiritual integrity. In the contemporary era, we witness myriad changes worldwide, facilitated by technological advancements fostering greater interconnectivity among nations and cultures. However, concurrently, there is a palpable decline in faith and Christian values once steadfastly adhered to by many. These occurrences serve as significant indicators of the impending end times, as prophesied in scriptures. This era will be characterized by the return of Jesus Christ, who will gather those who have lived in accordance with his teachings and commandments. Conversely, those who disregard these precepts engaging in sinful actions will face judgment. It is a moment for introspection concerning our lifestyle choices. It is crucial to comprehend that this message is not intended to instill fear or trepidation about the future, but rather to inspire steadfastness and confidence in confronting the prevailing circumstances. God desires for you to be prepared and resilient, not fearful or uncertain. He encourages you to confront challenges with bravery and maintain unwavering faith, assured that you are not traversing this journey alone. In these trying times, as prophecies unfold, many remain oblivious to the events unfolding globally. I'd like to conclude this video with a message imparted by Jesus to his disciples. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. If you found this message impactful, consider sharing it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. May God bless you abundantly. Until the next video, sending warm regards.